Good morning guys. I don't know if you can hear Dustin working hard downstairs the Hoover. I basically, um, <laughs> firstly hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I, um, yeah, I set Dustin, our little robot vacuum. Every night I set him at like, I think he starts at half midnight. So we thought, you know, like we'll be asleep, it's fine. But I'm such a light sleeper, I keep hearing him in the night and I said to Tom, it's, I'm gonna have to change it. So we've, we've changed it to like 9.30 p.m. But I just set him going again this morning just because it was, um, well, this morning, let Barney out, let him back in, it's a bit muddy by the back door. So I thought I would just get him to do another round of cleaning this morning. But anyway, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I am heading off this morning, or we as a family, are heading off this morning to the Arthur Swallows Antiques Fair, which I've been to a couple of times before, and I love it. It's just, especially on a sunny day like today, it's just such a lovely little stroll around and yeah if you like shopping for antiques and stuff like that and you're local to manchester this is in it's based in nutsford so cheshire way love it so i thought i'd pick up the camera and actually vlog this weekend because we're doing that this morning then tom's off to cricket this afternoon and i'm gonna get the house spick and span ready for guests tomorrow i'm gonna also do a bit of prep for some lunch that i'm gonna pop on tomorrow maybe bake a cake that kind of thing so that's my plan today and then yeah tomorrow I've got a couple of friends coming over and we are doing I've mentioned it in a previous vlog we're doing our we're having our colors done so we've got a lovely lady coming who I met at Cheshire Oaks at an event I went to not too long ago and she very kindly offered to come and do our colors for us so yeah I've got a couple of friends coming over as well so that's gonna be a fun little day tomorrow um, and yeah, it's just gonna be chilled. I'm gonna pop on a lunch. Um, we're gonna see what kind of colors suit our skin tones and everything. So we are own natural with the no fake tan. That's what we've been requested to do. So I have zero tan on, I'm feeling a little pale. And also tomorrow we have to be a bare face, no makeup. So she can really get to work on like what kind of like hair color, beauty, makeup colors, fashion colors we should be wearing based on our natural natural beauty before we get going quick outfit of the day i have these linen shorts on which are from they're from marks and spencers and they've got a matching blazer i've not got the blazer on with it just because i felt like the blazer was a little bit smart for essentially a field which is where we're going and then i've just got a bodysuit on from primark it's like a ribbed little basic body and then this shirt over the top again from primark it's like a sage green striped and then Ordinarily with this, I'd probably put my Birkenstocks on, but because we're going to a field, I think I'm gonna wear these trainers. Do I wear these ones? They're a bit mucky already, so I feel like I'm not gonna to be too precious if they get a little bit muddy, and I can give them a proper wash when we get back. So yeah, let's put the new balance on. And um, bag, I'm just gonna throw on so that I've got hands free. A little crossbody bag from Uniqlo taking cash for the fair, we're good to go. Oh, it's a bit cute to get in. Got Riga beans today. Go on, you go. <laughs> go on, you go. We, um, because Tom has to get off for cricket and we were up early and everything, I thought, let's just get here. Uh, opens in 10 minutes but there's a queue outside so obviously it really does just open in 10 minutes we can't get in just yet so we're just gonna let him have a bit of a run around in the field grab my bag queue up and then we'll go go and have a look for a pestle and water. Huge, look at that for a bottle of wine. Love that. Outdoor kitchen. This would have been perfect when I was looking for them. They've got so many and they were only 10 pounds each. But yeah, I bought them for, mine for 40 pound of home barn. And then there's these gorgeous stools as well. I'm tempted to get one for maybe like a bit of a side table. They are 75. 
and they've got the smaller ones, a bit like my bathroom stool. I think he said they were 55, those ones. For all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know where all in we are. <laughs> oh, no, careful because we literally got stuck. <gasps> what did I say? Show me a fish, show me a water. Yeah, but he's in the back with it. He's no, he's not. He's petrified. Look at him sh quivering in his boots. We're basically having to drive through because we've got a couple of th big things to pick up. Fingers crossed they fit in the car. And we've got the, um, got to go through the pickup entrance. But yeah, we got very lucky today. Look at the queue now. Oh, people waiting for the 10 a.m. If you can be a trade buyer and pay a bit extra, I'd say it's worth it, wouldn't you? Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're going to load up the car and then when I get home I'll take everything outside because it's mostly stuff for the garden we've bought, if not everything? Yeah. Apart from the stool that's getting delivered later. Oh yeah, we've got three things being delivered later. Um, so yeah, we'll load up the car, head back home and I'll show you everything I got. What a fab morning. I've still got my stamp to show for it. No, I just brought you sunbathing. <laughs> yeah, I had a pretty speedy turnaround because I had to set off the cricket. So we just had some eggs for breakfast. And because I have been so successful at the fair this morning, I have a couple of things also being delivered today. So I'll show you those bits later. I'm gonna head to the shop now because I need to go to Sainsbury's, do a big food shop to get some bits for lunch tomorrow to prep. I'm gonna bake a cake. So I want to go out now so that I'm in for the rest of the afternoon for his delivery. So I'll do that. And also, oh, I came home to these gorgeous blooms from, let me have a look. Look at these. They're so vibrant. So, so pretty from Vida Glow. So I'll unbox those with you when I get back as well as the other PR parcels that I've just popped there. Without further ado, <laughs> let's maybe rub this tattoo off and head to Sainsbury's. Quick change of plan actually because I have come to a Waitrose instead I thought seen as though I'm hosting for friends. We'll go a little splurge this weekend and also I did think Waitrose are probably more likely to have a few bits that are pre-done making life so much easier for me. I remember going to a shop called Homebird in Altrincham. I was gonna say, I think they've got loads of stuff like at the Antiques Fair today, but more sort of like what you'd have interiors, like really nice polished up. And look at all them baskets. So yeah, let's go have a look inside, shall we? Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yeah, it hurts a bit, I won't pretend that it doesn't matter that you're with someone else. Is how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy Then it's for the better That you are not with me a hot one today guys I've seen that the fair is due to finish around two so I'm thinking that the guy delivering the rest of the bits for me to be able to show you what I got this morning I think he'll be here within the next two three hours but for now let's do a little waitrose haul and I'll show you what I got at the shops I finally got my hands on these which I know everyone raves about on TikTok so I'm gonna give these a try because they do say that you meant to leave them out the frozer frozer freezer for 15 minutes and obviously the drive home should mean that these are about right so i'll try one of those in a sec but for lunch bits tomorrow i've just got a couple of picky bits some um, cocktail sausages and sausage rolls and this mac and cheese quiche which i thought sounded nice and then i'm gonna have that today i'm gonna have that now and then i'm gonna do a tomato salad with 
little mozzarella minis, some pomegranate, some peppers that I could pop in, but I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. And then I'm also gonna do another salad with some watermelon and um, feta or Greek salad cheese and cucumber. And again, I'll pop some, if we've got mint, I'll put mint in. If not, I'll just use basil again. And then a couple of dips with crisps as well for lunch bits. Just got some hummus and sour cream. And I've got these crisps, which sounded nice. They look nice as well. How nice is that bag? Some apple juice. We've got these as well for more picky bits, pork and apple pies. Some bits for baking my lemon cake, some castor sugar, self-raising flour and margarine because we were out. Like finger bits for the dips and crisps. Got some eggs as well for the cake, some lemons as well for the cake and also just to have like for lemon water and stuff. And then this sounded incredible. So I had to pick this up. Nutty praline crisp. I feel like this could be potentially a new favorite chocolate bar of mine. So we'll see. Some biscuits for tomorrow if we have any coffee and teas. And then I've got some popcorn. The hunt for unbranded popcorn, i.e. supermarket's own branded popcorn is on. I am yet to find one as good as Butterkiss. I think Tesco's is our favorite. Definitely not co-op. M&S was okay. We've never tried Waitrose once. We'll give that a try. But then I did also see this. How nice is that flavor sound? sweet cinnamon popcorn, if you like cinnamon. Um, so yeah, that's my little Waitrose haul. I'm gonna pop these bits away. My lilies have just started opening, which is so pretty. I've got a mixture of white and pink in there. And a little hack as well. I just trim off the inner bits once it opens out so that it doesn't drop everywhere. Cause I know that with lilies, one of the main things about lilies that I don't like is the mess that they make when they start dropping. So I just trim those off and yeah doesn't seem to make them last any less. <laughs> so yeah, my lilies are looking beautiful. I also wanted to show you these, which I just popped in some water before I left. And let me know what the name of these are. Are they Fox Gloves? I don't know. Let me know if you know, but this was a collaboration. Vida Glow have teamed up and they are now stocked in boots. So obviously, as you can tell on theme with the color branding for boots. And inside, they've just sent me uh, some collagen liquid advance. And I actually really wanted to try some liquid collagen. Um, mixed berry flavor they are, so they sound quite nice. And then also these, which are sort of like capsules. There you go, you can see there, for hair growth. And in here, let's open this up. And then I did have a couple of parcels arrived yesterday, which I'd taken upstairs. So I'll show you those as well. From Color Lab. And it's a duo-toned glass carafe. Good for popping like on a bedside table. Good little gift idea, actually. And then this is another one that I came home to today. Retreat heavy day today. Both homeware shopping and food. Oh my goodness. Kit Kat with Lotus Biscoff white. Kit Kat white chunky. OMG. That sounds a bit of me. Have I tried that before? No, they, I've tried like a peanut butter one, I think. Mm. So we've got a couple of bars of that, a regular Kit Kat Chunky. Of all the Kit Kats, my favorite is the Kit Kat Chunky. Let me know yours. Are you a two finger, four finger, chunky, chunky biscoff? Let me know. Let's try one of these now. These true fruits. They do them with dark chocolate and raspberry. These are the strawberry milk chocolate ones. They're frozen fresh in white and milk chocolate. Mmm. Wow. Oh, these are gonna be dangerous. Good job I picked up two packs. Delicious, you could probably do, make them yourself as well though. Frozen fresh strawberries, just coated in white chocolate and uh, milk chocolate.
before I get going with making the cake and the salads, like in prep for tomorrow, so I'll just bring you in this front room and show you as well the couple of bits that I got from Homebird. So firstly, this lamp. Now, ordinarily they said they have them in the back, but this is the last one. So she actually did offer me 10% off. Their lamps are really great value for money, especially the like larger, more rustic looking ones. It's the sort of thing that you'd expect to pay like hundreds for. This one was 49 and it's kind of like a rustic concrete base. I thought it would look lovely on this little side table here. And then they styled it up with this lampshade. So I also picked up this shade to go with it at 15 pounds. And I also got this for 12.95. It's the, from Maze and Cash. And it's one of their lemon juice squeezes. Now I have a handheld wooden one, but I thought this would come in handy, especially for making a lemon cake. Um, and it also looks lovely, kind of just set out. So that's how it comes. That's what it looks like at the top. So obviously you could just detach that and use that as the lemon juicer. But then this also has measures on, like a measure on the inside. And then I got lastly from there at £11.50, this napkin holder and I always like to have a bit of a stockpile of paper napkins for instances like tomorrow when hosting it's quite nice just to have out when I'm having picky food out for like a light lunch it's quite nice just to have some paper napkins so ordinarily I just literally whack them on the side but now I've got a nice little container to put them and this is like a little weight as well that you can just pop on the top so they don't blow away if you're popping them out say in the um garden if you're outdoor hosting and it's from Gisela Graham that one they were in high school when they met things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like who I just came upstairs and the top window is open and tell me you have pigeons on the roof without telling me you have pigeons on the roof. <laughs> this feather just randomly dropped from this window that's open up here. I do think there's a pigeon's nest up there somewhere because unfortunately out the back, um, I've noticed a few eggs that have dropped. So yeah, I think there was definitely, what well, is definitely a nest up there. Anyway, yeah, I've come into this room because I brought up here yesterday a couple of PR parcels and I thought whilst we wait for the rest of the antiques to arrive and the lemon cake to bake, we can sit down and share these with you. So firstly, from Printworks. Printworks is a company that I have shopped at Christmas. I got a dog album, you might be able to remember. It's like a linen cover. It looks like a really aesthetic coffee table book, but it's actually, you open it up and you can pop photos in. It's more of a photo album. They also do, I think it's called Great Art by a Great Artist or something, which is again, a nice looking coffee table book, but you can pop, if you've got young kids, all of their artwork within it, which again, we have bought as a gift for people. So they reached out and offered to send me a couple of bits from their new in range, and I thought, amazing. I'm more than happy to share them with you guys. How aesthetic are these? Firstly, a couple of bits for the kitchen, and again, on display, these would look lovely, but even just as little storage boxes, these are perfect. So. This first one is the set of cheese knives, stainless steel. Guide to the world of cheeses in here, which different cheeses are in there. And then the actual knives that are included as well. So there's a little info on all of those. And then yeah, you've got nice little sets of cheese knives in there. Again, another one for the kitchen. And this one is the catch of the day fresh from the ocean seafood tools so if we open up this one we've got again a little print out of what is included and how to use them and this is what they look like so we have an oyster chuck or knife oyster knife a shell cracker you could use those for like nuts as well but shell cracker and then what are these they are seafood forks so four forks you get in there so if you're hosting as well so enough for four people 
Lovely, a little set. And then lastly from Printworks, I got this, which I think is gonna go in our black room, because if you like don't know, we've got like a wall-to-wall -wall bookshelf, of which we've got a few different like wooden games and nice looking games, the bookshelf edition games. So I thought this would be a nice addition. It's The Art of Chess, and I think they've got a couple of different ones. This is the, I think it's called the Mirror Edition. If I actually open it up, the chessboard itself is mirrored and beige. And then the chess pieces underneath. So the first sets are little silver pieces. The second player plays with beige pieces. Thank you so much to Printworks. That was a lovely PR package, especially as I am, like I said, a customer myself and have bought gifts and stuff from them before. And then also from a lovely um, small business called Rose Rain. I will leave her shop on Etsy linked below, but there we go, Rose Rain. I've got some gorgeous little like hug earrings with pearl droplets and then an initial necklace and then this bracelet as well goes really nicely as a set actually to wear all of these together and then last but not least from Lizelle they sent a hamper for like a green smoothie mango avocado a couple of other bits chia seeds and it was like honestly so beautiful I did open it up on my Instagram but it was fresh so it needed to go away um and yeah I thought I'd just show you the products that came with it. So this is from their Super Skin Advanced Range Nourishing Cleansing Balm. I always love using a cleansing balm, especially as a second cleanse. And then to go with it, we've got an Instant Boost Skin Tonic. Again, I love using a toner. And then also we have, oh, first stage, first initial cleanse is a cleanse um, and a polish hot cloth cleanser and a Super Skin Moisturizer. Give it a little whiff. Oh, that smells lovely. Very spa-like. I think it's that neroli you can smell coming through. And the rose hip. Mmm, lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, thank you to the brands for sending those bits over. And I will pick you guys back up again once the delivery for the rest of my antiques have arrived. Are you going to show everyone what we picked up? Okay, so this is our loop from this morning first things first this huge fire pit that's what was being delivered today as well as the mirror typical garden mirror it's kind of like a rustic cream with lots of like a window mirror and then obviously this gorgeous fire pit which we absolutely love and we bought those two from the same seller as well as this stool which i thought could be nice for like styling it's kind of a bit bigger than my other stools so i thought i could use it as a bit of a side <laughs> hello <laughs> a bit of a side but like mini kind of coffee table next to the sofa you know just to have maybe a little magazine or coaster for a drink or something on there I've got this huge rustic pot here and this slightly smaller one Again, both for outdoors, and we just wanna get loads of stuff like this to style the garden with once it's finished. So I'm keeping it here for now until we get the paving and the gravel down. There's not really much of a garden update because um, the gardener was away for a couple of weeks. So now that he's back, his plans are to start um, excavating and digging out the foundations for the outdoor kitchen space, which is gonna be here. We're thinking actually of maybe, I don't know whether to do, because this is the space, I don't know whether to do the dining table down the middle, but then it might be quite close and quite snug, or a big butcher's block in the middle, island type thing, so that it's all cooking space and styling. And then the dining table on the outside over here. And then what we're probably gonna do over this way, you might be able to tell in the corner, that kind of MOT stuff, a semi-set or like a corner circle with the fire pit is going to go on there with like a couple of seats as well um, and then also i found this in the garden it's like galvanized um bin and never really looked at it twice before but seeing quite a few things like that at the fair today i thought actually we'll keep that and we can use that to as a planter as well at some point i think that was literally just like in the ground um and then yeah what else have we got to show you nothing really no real major garden updates we had the delivery of the corn stone tiles which are just stunning 
absolutely love them there's quite a lot so they are going to be the flooring for the outdoor kitchen into an L shape and then the rest of it is going to be Cotswold gravel as for the other bits that I picked up we also got this um, truck for in the garden which will just be really handy for gardening and bits and bobs picking flowers having the tools and everything in there now that I'm going to be pottering in the garden once it's finished and then a couple more pots and stuff that was 30 pounds this stool the fire and the big mirror were we agreed to rate 350 for the lot these were priced at like 225 or something but we managed to get them for 175 I think 110 and what was the third pot I bought from him it was that one there which were 60 but I think we got it down to like 50 or something like that I know between the three again I think we paid three 300 to 350 for those three this one was 60 pounds and then these were I got the two for 60 pounds I really that one was 60 pounds just alone but I managed to get both of them for 60 which I was happy with these there were loads of these with like a mustard color and then olive color and they were really <coughs> oops, really popular everyone was really wanting them and um, they're stamped as well so again for more of that rustic antique finish these are lovely and yes yeah, so I went for the more olive green colored one and then on route out I saw this watering can it was priced at 29 pounds but he gave it to me for 20 I think it was literally a couple of pounds change I had to like 22 pounds and yeah that is my antique loot we did really really well today and it was 10 pounds to get in I think for now these are all designed for outdoors anyway so I'm going to leave them outside but I'm going to take this one in and I'll probably just take this wooden truck in just because again I don't want it getting wet if it's if it starts to rain but the rest of them are all fine because obviously like I said they're all designed to be outdoors anyway good morning let me just pause the music one second well, it was an advert anyway how are we all we've got our lemon cake ready although i did leave it in the fridge overnight and i'm worried it's a little bit dry so fingers crossed it's not lilies are opening beautifully i've got some candles burning the oil diffusers are on these blooms are looking pretty and we are just about set and ready to have some friends over i'll show you the salad bits that i made yesterday fridge is stocked this tomato mozzarella pomegranate and then this one is watermelon cucumber and basil i think i'm going to prep some of these chop them up as well just to have with hummus yeah i'll do that now and then other than that we are set and ready to have some guests over i popped out the um the thing that i bought yesterday as well the napkin holder with just some spring little napkins on when is it officially summer though are we nearly there yet <laughs> feels it when it's this warm in England. This is what I'm wearing for today, nice and comfy and relaxed. It's actually the same shorts that I wore yesterday, just a different bodysuit, plain like vest, like bodysuit, and this linen shirt. This is from Primark. These are from Evanes last year, and this bodysuit is from H&M years ago. Like, it's just a simple classic. I have got gold jewellery on. don't know if she'll make me take that off, gold and silver, I suppose, but... Um, yeah, excited to see what the expert thinks in terms of what colours we should be wearing. I've got as well my Birkenstock Arizonas on and I think they're called taupe. I'll leave these linked below. They are my most worn and most loved Birkenstocks because they're suede. So much comfier. Maybe in the future we'll get some like better quality ones. So with colour analysis basically, so then we have cool or warm people. We can have someone who's cool with warm undertone or warm with cool undertone. So I'm warm with cool undertone. So like dark uh, autumn, so it's autumn with winter undertone. So that's kind of complicated, but we will get through it. Uh, so then um, cool or warm and then light or dark. So speaking, like generally speaking, lighter people, light hair, light, light eyes and dark like snow white. And then we have contrast. So high contrast, people snow white. Katy Perry, Megan Fox, for example, because she has very dark 
uh, hair, pale skin, red lips, bright eyes, and then we have J Lo, who's very muted, so yeah. colors are soft. So she looks really bad in black hair, in silver shadows, and but she's warm. So we have all these three things. This is color 2024. I love that. So every year, Phantom is releasing new shades. Yeah. So when I went to TK Maxx first time in my life, I spent there four hours, and I just checked everything. Now I go to TK Maxx and I scan. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. this is straight for me. That's good. So it will save a lot of time and a lot of money. And also, it will be helpful for your family and friends to get a gift, for example. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to use jewelry. So it will brighten up our face. Okay. So having like a lot of, when I'm wearing a black heel, I wear a lot of gold. And it's the same with white. Like for me, this is a good shade of white because I'm autumn. Autumn is dark, muted, and warm. So bright white will look I'm not sure, so it's better for me to go for ivory or something cream. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's really hard to go to the shop and get like cream white shirt. So if we yeah. have this bright white, just make sure you have like layers of necklace, necklaces and earrings in your metal shade. So it can be gold, some people can wear both, some people will look better only silver or like pearls. Like I look really bad in pearls, they're too cool for me. Or diamonds. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I manage with diamonds. Yeah. And it's like change like the colour of my glasses, right? Maybe, yeah, because this is something you keep on your face. Yeah. Yeah. So should we start with Freya? Yeah? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 So here we have cool side and mm -hmm. here we have warm side. Like many people who are doing colour analysis they use only drapes. But I really like the boards because you can basically put your face inside and you can see straight away. And then we'll go for drinks. So we're definitely cool toned, aren't cool we? Cool toned, cool yeah. Toned. And now I will show you. I'm okay to wear beige, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, summer. Yeah. I'm summer. Obviously, we're cool summer. toned. Yeah. And I'm definitely open to mixing metals a bit more and having yes. a bit more silver. But you said you're wearing stuff. peach on your. Cheeks. Cheeks. Yeah. So let's see peach. Well, although I Sabrina quite like what? Sabrina's pinky, baby pink at the minute, Sabrina Carpenter. And this is cool pink. I think they look much better. Yeah, yeah I do. They do that light, light. That yeah. light. I will also show you browns. So yeah. here are warm browns. I would avoid the warmest shades from mm -hmm. you. So they would be better for me. Yeah. And these are better for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, even looking at me, you can tell I'm yeah. warmer than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so, okay, let's try warm. Yeah. There we go. And then let's see cool shades. Much better. Mm. Well, there we go. Okay. Cool time. Just makes your eyes stand out. Cool girl. Yeah. 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 Pink. We're on to makeup. We're yeah. having a good play around. I've brought all my bits down as well and a couple of new uh, PR bits. I've thought, oh, I don't know if they'd suit me. Turns and out they, they don't. And they, and they suit me. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so I'm just. <laughs> Look at her with black yeah. top and red lips. So nice. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, so much nicer. You can go for this. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a shade that I would reach for. So this is Kiko Milano's. 004 3D oh, Hydrolet. This one from Maybelline. That's what I'm wearing, but different shade. But I think this one will be good on you. Love that. Yeah, see, it's see, quite close to my natural color. Yeah. If you want to have something darker, I'll go for this one, lippy number 10. I'll give you so you a bold lip. lip. Yeah, definitely. That Kiko one for me, I would 100% buy. Really I know, Kiko's so underrated. This blush that I mentioned that I got from Giorgio Armani, with it being more cool toned, is. Really nice. Is good. Just so um, bronzer is not the best. Yeah, apparently this is too warm for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we were saying like an alternative, Probably a more cool like toned like Fenty Amber. Yeah. Fenty Amber. So we're gonna go to the. I keep saying Sephora. Sephora. <laughs> Sephora. <laughs> Slightly different <laughs> to <laughs> Sephora. And have a bit of a shop. This is also quite nice, though, isn't it? It's quite shit. Jewelry? Yeah, have a look. That's a eyeshadow palette. That Copper one. Copper charge. Yeah, I do love the colours in there, but. Do you wear it? No, not yet. Oh, okay. They're quite warm, this aren't one they? All right. this that one that one I definitely cool, would actually. wear. Yeah, they're all very orange. Yeah, quite warm. Maybe this one is too warm, but I think this one is definitely yeah. nice. This one is also not very warm. Yeah, I think those two I would 100% yeah. go for. And I'm then what's this one? This is. We can open this one up. This is another Charlotte Tilbury Dreamlight. Oh, nice. Look at her in pillow toe. 
Oh, yes, so nice. is that pillow talk? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. And then that BB cream's perfect as well. Really yeah. nice. And add this on your eyes. Oh, yeah, that's the Charlotte Tilbury one, isn't yeah. it? The sh is it champagne? The champagne. Color? Yeah, really nice. I think it's a little bit too much, but it's okay. We can blend it. She's not got her glasses on. She can't <laughs> yeah. it. It's nice colour, though, that. Really mm. pretty. I mean. I've just popped on pillow talk. Charlotte Tilbury and I really like it. But there are a few different shades, aren't there? So you can go a bit darker. I think yeah. this is just the first one. I'm both myself and Lizzie, we're very similar colours. So mm. we've gone for like a brighter, bolder. What colour is that? What was this one? The Hollywood Red. No, I think that's the other one. No, Fuchsia. Hot Fuchsia? Yeah. Hot fuchsia. Fuchsia for me. Which fuchsia we said looks me. really good. So, they, so these are the different kind of spectrums. Yeah, if we want more every day, but we're very similar. We're both. Light summer cool. Uh, light muted cool. Yeah, like light it. muted cool. Have you got lip gloss, maybe? Yeah, I think that's great. But then yeah. I would say I would never pick this. Mm. But we've ever. all said how good it looks on you. Yeah. And your eyes. And your yeah. eyes pop. <laughs> and you, you remind really me of some. Like uh, actress, but I don't know which one. Was it Emma Stone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Because <laughs> I wanted it to be Emma Stone. <laughs> no. Oh, it's not. Emily's more like Emma Stone. No. no, no, no. Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, go on. Who's our, all our celebrities? Well, that's what I mean. I always said if anybody played me in a film, Sabrina Carpenter. Apparently, Sabrina Stone. yeah, Emma Stone. Stone. I'm Elsa, apparently. Yes. <laughs> but no, I'm not. Well, I'm not. I'm not Emma Stone anymore. Okay. So we have to get the recommendations yeah, of your friend who yeah. has any southern base. Yes. Yeah. But your true colours, Cheshire. Yeah. So if you're from Manchester or around area, mm -hmm. Liverpool, mm -hmm. come in to see me. And if you're from London or somewhere there, you can see my friend. I'll leave her yeah, you uh, have Instagram. Me. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think about color analysis? Where Eyes are open. Um, yes, but with all of us. Yeah. I thought Mel would it be the hardest time, right? to color, and you're the most obvious, like, well, you're quite similar, I suppose. Mm. Um, and then actually, I thought you would be easier, but you're more yeah on, on the cusp of a few rare different beauty. things. <laughs> rare. I just special. I just can't believe I'm not a spring. <laughs> oh yeah, we were adamant we were spring. Yeah, we're yeah. like, well, we must be spring. I was like, I've got to be a spring. We've got pastel-coloured eyes, so we must be spring. Yeah. But it's so nice to know. And like I was saying, I wanted to dye my hair copper. Yeah. No, no, don't do it. Absolutely no. You're yeah. not Emma Stone. I'm not Emma Stone. Just let it go. I've got to let go. <laughs> yeah. She can have copper oh, eyes. Sure. Yeah. 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 There we go. And that's why we're saying you've got to be careful if you're buying recommendations or if you see something on me that I'm and you're like, oh, I want that. Might not suit you. So pillow top looks really horrible on me. It's just it's too pink fine. for me. Yeah. Yeah, and too pale for her. Yeah. She's quite bright. Oh, I knew you would. I thought the fact that he's put that there, he knows I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna move it. The girls have gone, Tom and I, we were gonna have a barbecue, but to be honest with you, I'm still fairly full from my little lunch spread. We've got some, we've got a baguette left from the bakery this morning. We've got the lemon cake, some of that lit left, a couple of sausage rolls. But otherwise, we are just gonna sit in the garden for the rest of this sunny afternoon hair up because it's hot yeah i just want to show you the colors so i am very much light light cool summer soft summer so these sort of tones work better for me like the yellows for instance if you look at them like lemons as opposed to like a bright yellow those sort of beiges with more of like a gray undertone a bit like the beige that i'm wearing today actually she said that was a better this one better beige for me as opposed to more of a peachy warm toned beige and then if i was to wear something like black she said a better alternative would be something like a navy or like a dark gray but if i was to wear black to actually cool it up with some silver jewelry or like i wear mixed metal um, and delicate rather than lots of gold so very very interesting and it doesn't change doesn't alter if you do fake tan so you still have the colors that you naturally are same with the hair colors as well she said the hair color that i get is better suited to me with it being more cool toned as opposed to like a caramel chocolate 
brunette. It's definitely inspired me, sorry if it's a bit windy out here, it's definitely inspired me to have a good rummage through my wardrobe and see what colours do and don't suit me. I mean, I gave Mel one of my blazers that I always put on and off, off me, on the hanger, I always love it, one of my Zara blazers, but it's like a warm chocolate brown. When I put it on, I just never feel that nice, and now I know why. So, yeah, Mel took that home. I gave Mel, um, Emily some of my lipsticks, like red lips that were too warm toned for me. Um, and it is, you know, like we were trying them, and I was like, oh yeah, actually, this one looks way better. I was doing different blush colours, and I was like, that one looks way better than that one. So I definitely want to try take a trip to Sephora now. I'm probably going to go in a couple of days so that'll probably be my next vlog. I'll take you guys with me. With it being the new store in Manchester which is very very exciting. I might take a trip to Costco as well. Maybe pick up some olive trees because they usually have pretty good stock in there of those. Although they're usually a bit bigger. Like they usually do the huge olive trees but we'll see what they've got anyway. Um, and otherwise yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video thumbs up if you have subscribe for more and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys